Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Bachelor. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Nick Vile says Bachelor execs should try harder for Daisy Kent. Former Bachelor Nick Vile met up with Daisy Kent on his podcast, The Vile Files. It talked about her time with Joey Grazier Day on The Bachelor, and also about why she turned down The Bachelorette. After Daisy said no she was not doing the show, producers announced Jen Tran as the new lead. However, Nick thinks this wasn't done in the right manner. He also thinks they should have done more to get Daisy to accept their offer. What did he say? Keep reading to find out more. Nick Vile thinks producers should have done more for Daisy Kent. Daisy Kent appeared on the Vile Files where she talked with Nick Vile about her experience. She also talked about turning down The Bachelorette just two weeks before their announcement. Jen Tran was named the new lead after the role was turned down by Daisy and reportedly Maria Jorgis. However, Nick thinks this isn't the best route they could have taken. With that said, he is happy for Jen and glad Asian Americans are getting representation on the show. However, he feels they didn't go about it right. He also thinks ABC should have done more to get Daisy on board with being the Bachelorette. He said, The show should have done whatever they could have done to make Daisy the Bachelorette. Nick went on to say that they should have paid Daisy an amount that would have been hard to turn down and also bent over backwards to ensure her health was taken care of. Why does he feel this way? Nick Vile thinks Daisy would have been great as the lead and that the show really needed her to return. He said, I just think so often their best bachelorettes have this kind of sassy snark. They're spitfires and it's very entertaining. They haven't had like a real true girl next door bachelorette. Nick believes having Daisy as the lead would have led to two back-to-back -back iconic seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Plus, Daisy is not only sweet, she's not a pushover. She didn't fall to the pressure of telling Joey Grazidai she was falling in love with him. She even gained more social media followers than Joey himself. However, just because Nick supports Daisy doesn't mean he isn't happy for Jen. He said, They just didn't they did not set her up for success. They were not planning on having her be the baccalaureate. What do you think about Nick's thoughts? Do you think producers should have tried harder to get Daisy to be the baccalaureate? Stay tuned for more updates. Nick Vile to be a matchmaker on television show. Nick Vile is going to be a matchmaker on a television show. Fans love Nick and cannot wait to see him work his magic. The Bachelor Nation star is now a father and seems to be doing great at it. Nick Vile did not find love in the Bachelor series, but did find it in his fiance Natalie Joy. It seems that he will be joining Patty Stanger on her new show to help people find love. Nick Vile and Reality TV. Nick Vile has been on plenty of reality TV in his time. He has been on The Bachelorette and then was the lead role on The Bachelor. He was also on Bachelor in Paradise. However, he did not find love on any of the shows and found it on his own. Nick was also on Special Forces, which is where celebrities have to overcome physical and mental tests to make it to the end. He was on the show while his fiancée was pregnant with their baby, and this was hard for all involved. Nick was on the show with another Bachelor star, Tyler Cameron. Tyler Cameron, Nick Vile, and Jojo Siwa grew close during their journey. He is joining Patty Stanger. Patty Stanger is coming back to television to help people find love. She is going to be helping more than just millionaires this time and is going to have help. Nick Vile is going to give her a hand in matching people together. The contestants will have to pass her boot camp before they can be rewarded with a date. There are going to be several reality stars who are on the show looking for love. Patty Stanger. The matchmaker is going to air on April 11 and fans cannot wait to see who is on the show and how Nick gives a hand during the process. How do you think he will do? It seems the two will be helping not just millionaires find love. Nick Vile digs deep into people's business as seen on his podcast. There is no doubt that he will find the root of the problem with the person and find out why they can't find love. They are going to try and get rid of their red flags and see if they can finally have a happy ever after. What do you think about the pair? Sound off in the comments below.